All right, now we shift our attention to the identity operator. There's, of course, the negated one, but you have is as your operator. You can also do is not to do the opposite. So what the identity operator does is, and I quote, determine whether two objects being compared are the same, not that they are equal in value. What you see down here on the bottom middle of your screen is a little bit of a bad example of how this is used. Um, so you can see here we have X is the list containing apple and banana. Y is also the list containing apple and banana. And then we say Z equals X. Now if we check to see if X is Z, we get true because they are the same object. However, if we were to print x is y, these have the same value, but they are not the same object, so that would return false. It's a bit confusing. It's a bit of a bad example. Let me show you a good example. So scroll down, make some more room on screen. Let's say we have a variable, and we'll call this full name. Let's do full name. And we say that it equals an input and enter your name. And then after this, what we want to do is not print the name that it gives us that we get from the user. We want to print type full name is string. Uh, how is it written? str? I believe so. So let's save this and let's see how this works. We're going to do cls. We're going to say run our file it's going to ask us for a name and it's going to return true so yes this is how it works it is a bit of an ambiguity with the string function but let's do something else what if we do is in if we ask if it's an int run the same code and it returns false let's do one more thing here uh, actually, let's preserve that last, uh, let's preserve both of these. So str. Now we'll do one more. Copy paste it. We'll say is not float. And this is going to give us first true, then false, then true again. And there you go. This is a much better example of how you can use the is and is not operators is to check the type. This can be great for error checking. It can be great for um, optimizations. It has myriad applications. Um, it can be used for a flexible function that can accept ints, floats, strings, whatever, and perform some kind of operation. So that is the identity operator. I encourage you all to practice with it. Um, a quick note, the type function is a bit self-explanatory. All it does is return the data type that, that, that be the, um, <clears throat> pardon me. It returns the data type of the object in parentheses. So our full name, we're giving it a string. So, is it a string? Yes. Is it an int? No. Is it not a float? Yes. It's simple, but it can be a bit odd at times. So next time we're going to look at the membership operator. This one works similarly, but it also has very different application. So stick around for that.